Hi, Peter with you again today, and today I thought I'd try a blog outside. It's the middle of winter here, uh, but it's a little bit of a finer day, even though it's pretty chilly. Um, but I thought I'm doing a video on motivation, so why not get outside where it's pretty brisk to get really motivated. So let's get stuck into this. There's a whole stack of ways people use to get themselves motivated. But I'm going to go through four ways which I believe are some of the best looking at the biggest picture right down to motivating yourself from little day-to-day -day tasks. And let's jump into it. So the first is when we're looking at life as a whole, pretty much the only way to be motivated over a long period of time is to make sure whatever you're doing in life is totally you're totally passionate about. In other words, it's in alignment with your values. That is why people who are passionate about the environment or passionate about human rights can literally go to jail or put themselves in harm's way and get up and, and keep working tirelessly at uh, the mission that they're on. Doing things that you like uh, can be temporarily motivating but it's not motivating in the long term as doing things which you're passionate about. So from the bigger picture, what we do to try to check to make sure people are motivated in life is to do what we do is a list of their values. It's called a values elicitation. Now if you can come up with uh, your set of values in say for example your career or in the area of life that you're working in and work out what are your top four or five values and then check off whatever it is that you're doing and see if it hits all of those five top values. Now if it doesn't, chances are you won't stay motivated for long and vice versa if it does you'll be motivated for a long time. Now if you want more information on this, look up values and you'll see I've got another blog which goes into much more detail in eliciting all your values and helping you through this process. So now let's go down to the next area which is um, working on a particular goal that you've got. Now this is a really really good tip for anybody who sets goals for themselves but isn't able to achieve them. My advice to you if you haven't already done this is go out and tell as many people as possible what your goal is and when you hope to have it achieved by. So everyone knows that it's easy to skive off if no one's watching. Like for example when I do training um, I find it really hard to get up and do some exercise by myself. But when it comes time to um, do boat rowing with a, a boat rowing team that I'm in or training for that then I'll make sure I show up. Why? Because I don't want to disappoint and let down my fellow colleagues and I don't want to them to think I'm a slacker. So everyone knows that if you've got people depending on you then you're much more likely to carry through. And that goes through is if you've told someone that you're going to uh, lose a certain amount of weight or you're going to achieve, achieve something in life or you're going to uh, try to fulfill a business goal uh, by this time next month then you'll know people are looking in to check on how you're going and they may even ask you oh how did you go with that goal that you were trying to achieve and this is so much more of an incentive so that is one of the best ways to really uh, focus on motivating yourself in a goal so that's number two so the third way to do this um, is if you are having trouble getting out of bed this is kind of a more of a spiritual thing which I learned when I was practicing Buddhism and that is to um, contemplate how easy it is uh, to die in this world. So contemplate death and how we might not be around tomorrow. And it sounds, it might sound a bit crazy to some people, but if you spend time on thinking how easily you could die today, how short life could be, or even having a major accident, and spend a little bit of time on that, you suddenly get a motivation to get the best out of life today. And that has an added bonus for me, is you make sure that you work today on the things that are most important to you because sometimes we might get motivated but we might work on I don't know fixing the TV or doing something which is not you know so important to life 
to, to make sure you're getting the most out of life. So I reckon, might recommend giving that way a go. And then the final way in a moment, if you want motivation, then uh, I practice setting up a magic circle for myself where I anchor in states of, uh, you know, enthusiasm. And it's as simple as thinking of a time when you're really enthusiastic and then uh, visualizing yourself in this magic colored circle and then dropping that into the circle and then whenever you want to you actually imagine yourself stepping into that circle and all of these feelings will come flooding back. Now I'm going to do a separate video on magic circle so if you want to know about anchoring and how to get feelings instantly uh, very quickly then have a look for that other blog that I've created um, to do with magic circle. I hope those four uh, ways of motivating yourself help you. What I would be interested in if you look at this video is tell me how you motivate yourself and I'd love to hear from you. Put a comment below. It would be great to see how everybody motivates themselves. Thanks very much.